Good morning. Today is going to be so long for me. It is the choir concert at school today. And I have rehearsal before that. So I've got dress rehearsal from 3.45 to 4.30. Then the kids have to be back by 6 so we can run through it one more time. Concert starts at 6.30. So I probably won't be home till like 8 o'clock, maybe later. I completely, we took the camera and we filmed some things, but I forgot to actually film me in the dress. I got my dress for Amy's wedding, which is in, oh, what's today, the seventh? Nine days, our wedding is in nine days, and I finally got my dress, so that's good. Um, we do need to get Arthur a tie, but he is not in the wedding party, so it's not as pressing. Good evening, everyone. It is a e evening time, obviously. Um, today was Melissa's concert, and so it was just been me and Sarah all day long. Nothing really terribly interesting, but she is happy and eating food. So that's a huge plus. I'm making dinner right now, and I need to open up a can, but sadly, we have a terrible history with can openers. Our old one had broken, so we bought this cheap $3 one temporarily, just, and it was working great for about six months, maybe even almost a year, actually. And somehow this little little black thingy popped out, and now it won't, it won't do the can work like it's supposed to, which is really frustrating. So once again, we don't have a can opener. You never know the, how wonderful a can opener is until you break it. And then you have to like... Sarah. And then you have to like grab a knife. Then stab the cans to open them. In some terrible way that's very not safe at all. Why, oh why, did this happen to me? Maybe I should buy one of those like, really simple can opener things. Luckily, I'd already partially opened up the can, so only had to stab it a little bit. For any future cans out there, I'm gonna have to buy a new can opener. Sad day. Sarah, what's on your foot? What'd you find? Ah. Oh my goodness. Oh! And I'm home! It's only. 8.46. Luckily, Arthur, being the amazing husband that he is, made dinner pretty much right when I got home. He's ready to eat. So that's what we're doing now. Haystacks, which is super good. I'm so happy that tomorrow's Friday. This has been a long, long, long week. And I'm ready to just relax for a little bit. Thank you, Arthur. I appreciate it. Mwah. Mwah. All right, I'm done, guys. Let's go to bed. Go party. Honestly, I think Spot is finally trying to let me know that he just doesn't want to be around anymore. Today, he, he had lunch, which was fine. He drank water. He went potty, everything normal. But now it's getting to the point to where he doesn't want to eat. And it has been 12 hours since he last eaten. Eight, eaten? Because he ate at like 11, 11.30. Right now it's about that time. And he just doesn't want to eat. Which she usually does. And uh, it's probably about the time that we let him go. I've already looked up ways to put him off to sleep. No, not ways, but like. Uh, local areas that do euthanasia and things like that and so we might be doing that this weekend I don't know it has to be done soon because if he's not going to be eating I can only I mean I get hangry whenever I don't eat for a while I can only imagine how it'll feel for spots so probably should just let him go but uh, we'll see what we do tomorrow anyway thanks for watching guys we will see you then bye